Hey, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a little unboxing haul, something that I just picked up. So I'm going to unbox it. I'm going to show you what it is and all that goody stuff and then I'm going to apply it. Okay, so I picked up a couple things from uh, some of the new releases from Dior. I am testing out one of their foundations and I believe this is a new one. So you're going to see this review in another video. But let's get into it. Look at how nicely this is wrapped. Let me tell you something. I don't think I have it in here. No. I have ordered from Chanel before, okay? And usually you get a nice little box. The last two times I've ordered from them, I got this little like cardboard kind of a thing that looks like it's like a bag. Do you know? If you've ordered from them recently, maybe you know what I'm talking about. I should have brought it in here. I like to keep these boxes. I just think they're so pretty. I have my Chanel boxes, but are they not doing the boxes anymore? I mean, really? That's part of what you're getting when you're ordering from a company like this. I mean, look at this. Look at that box. Look how pretty that box is. I'm not getting rid of it. Okay? And I don't even want to mess up the bow. The bow's so pretty. So I'm going to see, can I just, I'm going to slide it off because it is so freaking pretty. So this, what I ordered is from their Hound's Tooth Collection. Okay? I mean, I can't, I'm sorry. I keep showing the box, but it's just so pretty. So I'm just going to lift this up. I haven't, I've been dying to look at this. I have not looked at this because I wanted to do it with you guys. Okay? <gasps> look at this even. So you open it up. Look at this. Got your little receipt in here. Look how pretty that is. And then look at this. Do you know how to do it right? Come and say. Okay, so then you open it up and look at this. So I got some samples in here and then my stuff. Okay. I mean, look how look how pretty this is. This is a nice bag. This is even nicer than the Chanel bags. Okay. So this is what I picked out. I picked out the. Dior Addict Lip Maximizer. So it's a lip plumper. I've, I tried their oil and that stuff dried my lips out. I hope this doesn't dry my lips out. But I decided to give this a try. Should I put this on? Maybe I should put this on and let it sit on for a little bit and give it a try. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is that the cutest little thing? Oh my god. I'm going to put this on. See, does it? It sort of smells like vanilla. I'm going to put this on. It looks like I have a nude lipstick on. <laughs> That's just my... How does foundation even get on my lips? I don't even know. Let me just see. Do I look like... Hold on. Oh, it feels a little bit minty, but nothing bad. You know, it doesn't... Right now it's not burning or anything. So we'll see if that works. And then I got... Um, Sauvage. I thought this well, there was a cologne that was like that Sauvage. I thought it was for men, but it says it's perfume. That's strong. Ooh. It smells nice, but oh my goodness, you don't need much of this. Like I just have a drop, that's all I need. Oh, that smells nice. It smells Maybe more musky, I feel like. It says sensual facets, spicy and juicy bergamots, and a woody trail en enveloped in a vanilla. Well, I smell vanilla, but it's really nice. But this is this is one that you just need like a teeny tiny bit and you would be good to go. Or you would be, it would be too much. Wow, that smells amazing. So let's get to the stars of the show here. So I got an eyeshadow palette and I got a lipstick. Okay, let's do the eyeshadow palette first. This looks so pretty. So the packaging isn't, you know, spectacular. This one has special packaging. Oh my god, I love it. Look at these shadows. 
Look at, look at how, look at, look at the print on there and look at the colors. Aren't they pretty? So that's different. I like that. I'm trying to look for not all browns all the time, but I feel like those are still in, in the neutral family from, to me. You know what I mean? Look at this. Look at the packaging on this. I mean, seriously. And the color is called... Rouge Dior. I hope I picked a good one. I thought I picked Sherry. I guess I didn't. I thought that's the one that I picked. <laughs> I guess I didn't. This is the one that I picked. And I really hope I like it. It looks really pretty. Look at the stamp on it. Oh my god. I love the stamp on it. So we're going to wear that. I'm not going to do a swatch on my arm. I'm going to put it on my lips. But let's get into the eyes. Let's do an eye look. I'm going to go in with this color right here. No, right here. Let's start with that one. It's like you don't want to mess up that pretty pattern, but I'm going to have to. Oh, that's good. That's a good transition color. It's not too deep or anything. That's really pretty. Yeah, I'm trying to venture out and try some different shadows. Um, I love my neutral browns, but it's just fun to try some other stuff, you know. That's really pretty. It's light. It's not really deep, but that's good because, like I said, I want this in my transition, so I don't want anything really deep in my crease. I'm going to do that, that color down there. I feel like there's so many ways you could do this. Oh, boy, yeah. That's pretty. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? This is a nice brush. I love my rougher brushes, but I'm trying to get better about using my BK Beauty brushes too, because I kind of haven't been, because for the most part, I use my rougher brushes all the time. I mean, the, the rougher brushes are the ones that are in my bathroom, because I can't have all my brushes in there, and um, they're both really nice. And we're going to bring it in like that. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. Just bring it right here. And then I'm just bring a little bit up there, but mostly you just want it right on that outer corner. And I'll probably end up using a little bit more shadow, but the thing is I don't, um, you don't want to add too much. You can always add more shadow. But if you go too dark right away, it's hard to blend that all out. Oh my God, is that pretty? Wow, that is really pretty. I just want to blend this a little bit more. I'm going to take that color right there, that really pretty pinky color. And I'm taking my rougher brush number 28. Oh, is that pretty? It's totally unexpected. Totally unexpected. It's um, it's really really light. You know what I want to do? I'm gonna fi I want to fix this. So I feel like I don't know. I feel like I need a little bit deeper color. So let me go in and just gonna take a little bit of this. Oh boy. I'm gonna tap that off a little bit. Tap that. I just want to have a little bit of depth here. Now I'm going to go in and take that light color. See how that is. I feel like I need a little bit of that. Um, I like it, but I feel like it's not enough. You know what I mean? I feel like I wish this one was a little bit, like there was a little bit more color in it. So let me try doing this. I hope it's okay to use. Mm, I'm going to take my Fix Plus. See if I can, um, I'm going to put a little bit on here. Hopefully not mess it up. 
not helping. I feel like that color's a lot lighter than what you think, you know? It's pretty. I feel like, you know what I feel like it's trying to be, but it's not as good. I feel like it's trying to be like the Charlotte Tilbury one that I like. That's, that's what I feel like it's trying to do, but it's not working. <laughs> it's pretty, but I'm slightly disappointed in that because I just wish it was a little bit more... Feel like I need a little bit more color. What do you guys think? You tell me in the comments. I wonder if I should have just put it on with my finger. Let me try that. Yeah, you know what? I actually like it better with my finger. I don't like putting shadow on with my fingers though, but sometimes I do. I feel like it looks better with my finger. I do. It has a lot of shimmer in it. But it's very, very fine. I don't think you could even tell that it's shimmer. Like even if somebody was standing by me. I'm going to use that one color there. And I'm going to put that right on my lower lash line. Let's talk about the lip plumper before I do the rest of my makeup. I feel like, or before I do my lips, I feel like it's like I feel a pepperminty. Um... I don't know if it's really plumped my lips. Have you noticed it? I don't think it's really done anything, but I don't know. You tell me. Do they, do they look different before I put my lip liner on? Let me know. I don't know if this is going to go with my look today, but we're just going to go for it. Look at Oh my God, it's so pretty. Ooh, it's a little brighter than I thought it would be. It's got like a little metallic-y kind of a look, I feel like. I don't know if you're going to see it on camera, though. Okay. I think it's pretty. I don't think it goes with my look today, so I don't think I'm going to keep this on. Feels really, really nice. I think I have to get used to it. I just feel like it's a little, feel like it's a little too, you know, I am about red colors. I feel like I didn't think it was going to be this. That looked deep. I have to get used to it because I felt like that about this color. I hated this color when I first turned, tried it on. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. When I first turned and put this on, I was like, ugh. I didn't like it, and now I really like it. So I think I just have to get used to it. But I don't think it goes with my eye look. I think it looks kind of... It doesn't look right. So I need to take this off. I wonder if I can just blot it from... At least you can see what it looks like. See what it looks like? I think it's a pretty color with the right look. I don't think that this... I thought I was, I thought, you know, I'm, when you're buying something online, you're thinking like, I think that's going to work with it. And then you're like, ugh. I thought it was going to be more pinky. And it is, but I feel like it's clashing. So the lipstick is, I love the packaging. It's really pretty. I just have to get used to this color. I know I will with the right, I think with the right eye look, I think I'm going to really like this. Okay. Feels really nice on lips. It doesn't feel too slick either, which I like. So I'll have to, I'll keep you updated on the wear of this and all that, okay? But remember this too. Normally I don't just put a lipstick on. I do usually wear a gloss. I mean, that's how I wear my, even my favorite Charlotte Tilbury, I wear a gloss on top because I'm just a gloss girl. But if it's not the right lipstick, it just doesn't wear well. And I feel like this is going to wear well, but I will let you know. And the uh, lip plumper, I didn't really, I didn't really, I don't know that that really did anything, but I'll, I'll let you guys know. The eyeshadow, but they're gorgeous. I have to play with it more. Um, but this color right here, I feel like it was a little bit patchy. A little bit patchy. So that might be just a better color just to use under a lash line or something. But I just have to be careful with it because I felt like it was kind of patchy. I think it turned out nice now, but I think it looked kind of patchy. This color is actually a lot darker than I thought it would be. That picks up a lot of color. This one is quite light, but it is nice. Or crease you could probably even use it in your lid 
This one was a disappointment. I thought it would be, I mean, I think overall it looks nice now, but I wish it was just a little bit brighter of a color. Um, and I will have to let you know about that. I haven't even swatched it. Let's see. So that's what it looks like swatched. Oops. That's what it looks like swatched. So I'll have to, I'll play with it. I'll wear it in some other videos and stuff. I'll let you know. I do really like it. I'm glad that I have it. But those are my real thoughts on it, you know, about all the shadows. So if you have it, let me know. If you're planning on getting it, not getting it, let me know in the comments. And thank you guys so much for joining me. I will catch you guys all in my next one. Bye.